All right, now let's start to play with uh, my iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil and uh, Zoom. So uh, I think you guys know that like uh, you could uh, inside of a meeting. So this is me. Hello. Um, you have computer audio, and uh, when you click on share screen. One of the options is iPhone, iPad. Oh, it requires a plugin. So we're getting exactly how it works. Like uh, it's the first time that I use on this computer. Uh, so let me. Where is it? Uh, oh, you don't actually need anything on that. So like a. Right now, uh, oh, actually, this guy is on faculty network. I would have to, because my iPad is not on faculty network, so like stop sharing. Um, I'm sorry. Let me position you guys to the side like this. You, you don't see my hand. Uh, so let's move to another network. Uh, UM wireless. Because my iPad is on UM wireless, so they have to be on the same network. Uh, all right, so now if I click on share, iPad, share. It's not allow. Oh, you didn't ask me this before, but that's fine. Let's do. Uh, so connect to UM wireless, tap screen mirroring, and zoom, and me. So like a, on a, your iPad, you would go right here on there's the, there's the battery, and you actually kind of pull it down. See it again? So like a, you click it right there and pull it down, and then you're going to see this little screen that comes up. Um, you're going to click on screen mirroring right here. And then you're going to choose the one that actually he's telling you to use here. See? So I found it there. So right now, what you see on my computer, and actually what the students see, it's exactly the screen that you have here on your iPad. See? This is exactly the same one. Come out. All right. So. For example, uh, so right now the students are seeing exactly this. You can see right there, right? Uh, so what you do is, I don't know, open OneNote, for example, you know, and then you can do your whatever classes would you do, you know? Like, a, I, uh, I just use the, the, the Huon tablet, and uh, this is like a a whole new story, you know, because like a it's much nicer to do, and like a actually like whatever this pinch and uh, zoom out, zoom in. This is like a feature from OneNote, so I could do the same thing with the other one. It's just like a how the like a, how the pen works and how the pen reacts. But like this is actually using the iPad with Zoom, you know? Uh, that other, like a, Zoom has this feature that you can pair the iPad or another Apple device. But um, if you're not to use, like I know that the chance is high that we're gonna move on to Zoom. And there are a lot of people using Zoom at this point. So this would be like a very good like a, a very good like a strategy to move to online classes in a way that you can actually uh, do stuff right here. And then the students would see on their end. And actually, it kind of, it's a, kind of a long shot because like a, you can ask the students to have one on the other end. And for example, you were, if you're solving problems and you want them to solve a problem and, and, and show you, then they could actually like a, you could share their screen, they would know how to do this, 
and then you could see exactly how like what they are doing you know that's like a it's a longer shot because like a, for example this uh this is a 10.5 inch uh so it's a second uh gen ipad pro um this is actually a 64 gig so but this one i don't see you paying less than um I would say $350, but that's for the iPad alone. And then you, you, you have to go with like a, I would say, I don't see you paying less than $75 for the pencil. And this would be the, the iPad. There are other iPads that have the same functionality. For example, like a, it starts on iPad fifth generation and right now we are on the iPad Pro um, 11 inch second gen. So that's the latest one. But like at this one, you'd still like a start at like a 250 plus the pencil. So like a, it's a, it's kind of like a, an investment, you know? and. Uh, most likely you're gonna case, you're, you're gonna get a case for it, and like the market for these guys, as they work with Zoom, the market's pretty high, you know. So it's kind of difficult to get them. Um, but uh, yeah, so like this is like a how uh, it would you would pair your Apple device and how it works well with like the, your Apple Pencil. So so far, this is the best seated. So like a seated mean. I'm seated drawing stuff right here, you know. Uh, so this is the best for a professor that's just like a, that, that's just gonna sit and uh, do all the classes right here. And even if you wanna record whatever you do here and your, and then later on when you have your synchronous meeting, then you just talk to the students and then you solve problems, you know. It's like, like a good, uh, I think it's a pretty good, like a, you know, I like a, I, the one thing is like a, that limits you is like a, if you're using Linux, I don't know if that would work. Uh, I haven't tried Zoom for, for a Mac either, so I don't know how that goes. And actually this is like a, so the, the price that I was saying here, actually these prices are very low. It's like a, I don't see you being able to get for less than that. But like uh, you sh if you want to go with one of these devices, like uh, you should be expecting to pay no less than like four hundred dollars for a small setup with just like a an Apple device and a pencil, All right? Yeah. So like uh, this is how like uh, you would pair and how you use like uh, your Apple device with your Zoom account, and then you'd see all the students here. You know? Yeah. I think that this is pretty good. Like uh, for me. Um, I would rather go with like a drawing on a whiteboard. That's a whole new story. It's another video. Uh, but uh, for, as I said, like a, a seated setup, this is what I, what I would go with. All right. Thank you.